Hello YouTube, and welcome to Bringing It Back. Today I wanted to make a quick video on the basics of Dolphin Emulator, covering everything you need to do to get started playing your favorite Wii and GameCube games on your PC. First off, if you're not familiar, Dolphin is an emulation software that you run on your computer which allows you to play both Wii and GameCube games. Getting set up is fairly simple, and we'll break it into two parts, hardware and software. First up, hardware. For hardware, the first thing you'll need is a computer. Dolphin will run on Mac, Windows, and Linux, so what you have isn't super important. But if you want to upscale your games to 4K like me, you'll probably want a machine with decent graphical capabilities. I primarily run Dolphin on a Windows PC with an i9, 64 gigs of RAM, and a 2070 Super, which is definitely overkill. The second thing you'll need is a controller. If you primarily intend on playing GameCube games, you can likely get away with pairing any old wireless controller and mapping the buttons in the controller section of the software. But what I recommend is a classic GameCube or Wii controller. If you decide to go this route, there are a couple secondary accessories you'll want to pick up. Number one, a GameCube controller adapter. These are widely available on Amazon and fairly simple to use. Just follow the instructions in the box to get set up and download the latest drivers. Number two, a Wii sensor bar. Wii controllers primarily use Bluetooth to connect, which your computer likely already has, but most Wii games require some sort of motion control. A USB sensor bar can be picked up fairly cheap on Amazon for around just $10. Also, if you're running low on USB ports like me, you may want to grab a USB hub to connect these. The GameCube controller adapter uses two ports, with one for buttons and another for rumble. I also wanted to mention that I haven't tested these accessories on Mac or Linux, so be sure to check on that if you don't intend to use Windows. Now, assuming your computer already has a screen, that's it for hardware. Now for software. At this point, you'll want to jump over to your computer and download Dolphin. To do this, navigate to dolphin-emu.org and download the latest version. Once that's installed, it should look something like this. From here, you can see your games, access the controller menu I mentioned earlier, and access options to change your resolution and other settings. Now to set up a GameCube controller, enter the controller menu, go to the GameCube controller section, click the dropdown, and select GameCube adapter for Wii U for ports 1 through 4. To set up a Wii remote, in the controller's menu, select Real Wii Mote. Click OK, and then press 1 and 2 at the same time to pair your controller. Now, I'm not going to cover obtaining ROMs in this video. There are plenty of resources online to assist with that. I'll just say, while it's possible to rip your ISOs from your GameCube and Wii discs, that's not necessarily the most popular option. Anyway, assuming you have your ISOs, or ROM files, you can double-click here, navigate to your Games folder, and let Dolphin know where your games are located. Once you do that, your game should automatically appear in your library, and any cover art should be scraped. And that's it. Once you've told Dolphin where your games are located, and set up your controller, you're ready to play. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments, and thanks for helping me bring it back.